talked about it at half. It wasn't done. It was 2-0. And I said, no matter if we score, if they score, no matter what happens, it's just about continuing on, pushing through it. We talk about all we have. All we need to go on is what we have in that locker room. We love each other. We love the game, and we lay it all on the line every night. Even if they came back, we bounce back. They came back again, and then what a fantastic, fantastic effort from Eduardo. Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. Yeah, huge difference. I mean, he's got a uh, – I don't know, I think he had three tonight. He might have had two, but that puts him at 46 or 47 for the year. So uh, 70, 78, 79 for his career. And we got the COVID year in there. So, you know, he's well on his way to breaking the school record, hopefully. I don't know what the record is for a season, but uh, he's just a great kid, too. Great kid. I think he fought through the entire back line to get that last goal, he too. Did. He was not going to be denied. No, no. And that's, I mean, that's just kind of the mindset we have is just, you know, don't, don't quit. No matter what the score says, no matter what outside noise you get, just – Keep pushing and just believe. Believe in what you're doing. Believe in your teammates. And we talk about, again, it's a big for us. It's just love. We love the game. We love each other. And we just want to lay it on the line for the guy next to us, not for him. He didn't score that goal for himself. He did that for Cesar. He did that for Melvin. He did that for our seniors, Mikey, George, all those guys that fought so hard the whole game. So 